And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Sub Battle Sunday. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties yesterday and that's why we didn't have Sub Battle Saturday. So we're doing it today instead. We got a lot of wonderful people here in uh, chat that uh, we're going to be playing against today. That's, that's what I'm gonna be doing. This is a fun stream where I'm gonna be playing a different deck every round and to decide what deck I'm playing each round. We got this wheel that I'll be spinning that has 25 decks on it. Um, and uh, yeah, then we have the subscribers here in chat. We kind of do it like giveaway style each round. And then we'll be uh, keeping up with the win, see if team chat can knock me off and pick up the win. Um, they have before, this wouldn't be the first time. So right now, uh, I'm good. We already uh, did the, the thing where I'm gonna be playing against a Bertalux. So Bertalux, send me your, send me your gamer tag. Uh, waiting on that. Um, but first, let's go ahead and spin the wheel, see what deck I'll be playing. Perfect. There's that. All right, so what deck am I playing up first? Demir Reanimator. Okay. And then whenever the whenever the selection happens, then it gets removed from the wheel. So the wheel is going to be getting smaller and smaller. Okay. So I'm playing Demir Reanimator. Nice. Um, I'm not gonna have like the deck list post. So for those of y'all watching like on YouTube and everything, those of y'all watching here in chat, I'm not like uh, changing the deck list command every single time. I'll show the deck right away first. But all of these decks were, are decks that you know you can find YouTube videos on also. Um, this is our first deck, Demir Reanimator. So we're gonna be bringing back Agent of Treachery a bunch. All right, so let's give it a try. Yeah, just just have this Draki Seth in here to grip. That's why it's still a Demir deck. It's not really a Grixis deck. It's a blue-black deck. If you want to play a f something that's not just best of three standard, just let me know. You know, I, we can do all the any format you want: historic, best of one, best of one historic, brawl. Um, you know, like if you if you. Uh, if you want to play a different format, let me know. I was a geometry teacher before. Um, basically, I've been saving since after I stopped teaching. I had a house whenever I was a teacher as well. I need to play some more of this deck. This deck was fun. It felt pretty good. Ooh, Bertilux bringing the blue-white control. Esper, okay, we're going Esper control. All right, so Banishing Light is annoying. I don't know if I have anything that gets rid of Banishing Light, to be honest. Um, Teferi, obviously, is also annoying. I think it's between those two cards. I think I'm going to get rid of Teferi. What shape is the new house in? It's you know it's it's uh it's in really good shape. It's brand new construction. And I'm super excited about it. Alright, so normally we would just be discarding agent of treachery, but I don't think we really need six lands, especially four I lands. This is the it's the new land made by Apple, the I land. Um. Okay, well now we have some reanimate stuff, so we'll keep, um, or we'll put the agent treachery in the graveyard. No, sub battles is best of three, but you can play, if you want to play best of one, you can, but, you know, like, basically what we'll do is we'll just play three best of one games I don't want that card um, 
I do want Thought Erasure. Do I want Mire Triton? Nah. Okay, cool, Choco. Have fun at the Super Bowl party. I should probably be casting... Uh, ooh, Bantu. Yeah, I probably should have been casting Thirst for Meeting first to get better value out of that Surveil. Worked out. Took Shadow of the Sky because it's the one that Bertilux can cast. Oh, Deckmaster. I didn't I didn't start Deckmaster. My bad. Give you just a should be up here in just a second. Ooh, bounce the agent treachery. Do it. Darn. Didn't do it. Hey, Sky Side, it's going good. Good morning. <clears throat> oh, right, that, that's a card. That's a pretty good one. Wow, Lotus Field. Keeping the temple in hand because we have a lot of like draw discard type stuff. Should have just played it. All right, so we'll bring back both Bond Revivals. That probably just means sweeper. Which I can just save, basically I can just save the five life. Uh, Um, 
Um, let's see. Yeah, maybe I should have taken Banishing Light instead of Oath. I can see that. So I want to play the Negates. We're going to take out the Suts. And now I might as well play Thief of Sanity and Ashiok. And take out... Something. Oh, yeah, we have Thassa's in here to flicker Agent of Treachery. That's sweet. Fortunately, this matchup, we don't really need a Thassa's so, because we're not really tapping down other creatures. Take out a reanimate spell in case graveyard is attacked. Okay, we'll keep this. The Thought Erasure Thief of Sanity opening. It's usually a good one. Thief of Sanity is not good against Teferi. Not very good against Teferi. Much at all. Unmoored Ego. Like that Unmoored Ego takes Agent of Treachery. I'm either taking Treacherous Blessing or Oath of Kaya. Take the draw three. Draw three is just a lot. That's a lot of numbers. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of odd. Yeah, so yeah, you're rooting for the viewer, but your backseat, you know, my game. But yeah, you're and you know, seeing like what I'm doing and everything. But you're rooting for the viewer, so it's kind of, it is a little weird. Should have Meyer Triton first. I guess I guess I can just Discovery. I like Bond Revival a lot, but I need I need another land before I can play it. And you know, obviously negate's good too. So this is kind of awkward. So yeah, like my plan was Meyer Triton, which is why I took the Omen of the Sea. But maybe I should have just taken Shatter of the Sky, because I'm just gonna, because now I'm just gonna do this and 
let the Doom Foretold have me discard the Dracuseth. Oh, they said Bond Revival. Okay. Not Agent Treachery. All right, well, I'll get new cards. It's all good. Hmm. Go, Thief, go. Probably should not have played that Fable Passage. Probably should have held it for Tonebound Lich. I know my responsibility. Yeah, I should have held it. No, I am not making this up as I go. Better to have Thief bounce to my hand than Drakki South bounce to my hand. <laughs> Welcome to my domain, Planeswalker. The Plains shadows awaken. Oh, Magic Eight Ball says Team Chat will win today, without a doubt. I've got it. I do, like, the reason why I want to play the land because I do want to be able to hard cast Agent of Treacheries. So, like, like, I want to get to seven mana. Bertolux has this one. Yeah, this one's over. Dance is going to be difficult to beat.
Doom Foretold is just kind of difficult to beat. That card's really good. Cyborg could probably use some more anti-control stuff. Hey, Nugagris and Funkelgeist. Hello. Cyborg could probably use some three mana Ashiok. Maybe that's the better card instead of Thief of Sanity to have. Where you can... Um, put cards in your own graveyard with it. If you need to. It's like... It's like... Turn Tooth Out Erasure? Alright, well we keep... Figure out the rest afterwards. And of course I want a third land. That's a lot of cards. Discovery is not a land, but it should find a land. Or not. That hurts having to put both of those really good cards in my, in my graveyard. Negate and Thought Erasure. That really hurts. I was scared of counter magic. I could play the thirst on my end step to make sure that, you know, like when Bird Alux is tapped out. But we, I haven't seen any counter spells this whole time. So obviously there's there's a counter spell. Obviously. Well, I just said I hadn't seen a counter spell the whole time. Still have Mystical Dispute now. A little surprised Bertolux didn't just do that during main phase to hit a land drop. Honestly.
If you steal a creature with the agent, does the enter the battlefield effect still happen? The answer is no, because it's already on the battlefield. It doesn't enter, doesn't re-enter the battlefield, doesn't leave and then re-enter. It's a whole lot of cards over there. I think it's better to have Negate than Thought Erasure. At this point. You know, they just have, like, whatever card I would take with Thought Erasure, Bird Alexia just cast something else that's probably also very good. Gas. No, best of three. No, we're doing best of three. Bond Revival's gone. Ooh, that's going to be kind of painful. That could be painful. I'm just gonna draw a card with Castle Lock Twain, which honestly I guess I should just do I should have just done main phase because maybe I draw Thought Erasure. That I would then cast. Should have done this main phase. Bantu is really sweet with tre Treacherous Blessing. Like, that's a good combo. That auto-tap might have hurt. 
Burlux. <clears throat> Another agent treachery. I think I'll just want to. I think I just want to draw that and hard cast it. Take this, have to spark for Doom Foretold. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ah, tap the land. I'm at 25 cards, they're at 24. give my creatures haste. Hmm. What do we got? We got two agent treacheries. So the problem with problem with playing another agent treachery is I, you know, like which I could have, I can, you know, concoct and or you know I could have grabbed another agent treachery and cast it, but then I'm drawing six cards, and you know we have to be worried about milling out. Plans just to slowly 
get rid of all of these lands. Yeah, I guess I just have to... Have to play the Thief Sanity out. Have to try to get the Kaiserath out of hand. Mock Vizzle, what's up? Thanks to the Twitch Prime Reset. That's our second sub of the day. Um, I don't need to negate that. <clears throat> All right, I got 12 cards left. Got to do two points of damage before I draw 12 cards. Yeah, I have four, like, I have five, I have five lands of Bertalux. All four of these white lands, and then this watery grave that's different from my other watery graves. So I have five, five of Bertalux's lands right now. So you have too many. All right. There we go, GG's. All right, I picked up the first one. Verse team chat. Um, that's weird that it does that. Yeah, I, so I'm not updating the, the specific deck list command today. <clears throat> yeah, GG's there, Bertalux. Yeah, dance in hand with six mana if you had one more life. Dang. I did have a negate. Yeah, so I would was going to negate. Yeah, I, I could have negated the, the Kaya's Wrath, but I didn't really need to. But anyway, all right. So if you want to play up next, type the word battle. I think, so Bertalux, I think with your Unward Ego, I think you should be naming Agent of Treachery, not, not Bond Revival. I think Agent of Treachery is like the card that they should be naming. But I guess if, if you don't really... Um, you don't really need all the lands, I guess. I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah, you thought that, like, Bond Revival would be my only revival spell. 
Because, yeah, there's three. Yeah, like that's connive, concox, and uh, the other thing. But then, you know, you can just also just hard cast Agent on Treachery, too. I think that's the card to take. Okay, yeah, you thought it was the only the only way. Uh, what's the other one called? I don't remember. All right, looks like everybody's in there. All right, let's see who's going to be our next sub to battle. Yeah, definitely missed the big dinos. Kendis, Kendis is up. All right, Kendis, either send me your gamer tag or challenge me in, with this system thing here. And again, remember if if you're playing, if you want to play a different format that's not best, I'm just going to assume it's best of three standard. If you want to be playing uh, best of one, um, we still play best of three. If you're playing best of one, I just don't sideboard. That's that's what we do there. But if you, so if you want to play best of one. Um, you can do that, or if you want to play Historic, Best of One Historic, Brawl, any other format, just let me know. And Kenda says Best of One. All right. So still, of course, Kenda still do, you know, it's still choose Best of Three as the option. I just won't sideboard. All right, so I got Boros Aggro up next. All right, here's our Boros Aggro deck. This deck's pretty sweet. Tectonic Giant, Phoenix of Ash. Those cards are awesome. Okay, so that's our deck. So I will not be sideboarding. Y'all in chat, help remind me. Yeah, I just I just write, you know, like basic you know, like we have twenty five decks up on the wheel, I just write, you know, like a lot of, basically all the decks that we have with the format. Um and then yeah, we just let the wheel spin and decide what, what happens. So both Temple of Triumph and Castle Ardenville coming into play tapped. I'm gonna keep the Phoenix. No, I, I don't remove like the decks I did the, the last month. I basically just put up all the decks that we kind of play on stream. Yeah, there are still some dinosaurs in, in uh, Standard. Yeah, Rotting Regisaur, Shifting Ceratops, Marauding Raptor. Sad castle. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under control, you gain four life, and if the angel dies, create a one one. Divine Visitation plus Woe Strider. That does sound like a pretty sweet combo. Ooh, we're going Esper. Wonder if this is a Divine Visitation deck. This song is It's Amazing by Jem. J-E-M. If you just want the whole playlist... That is the playlist right there. Um.
We got a good amount of cards to cast. I'm just going to be trying to end the game quickly. So having Tectonic Giant do three damage instead of taking another card. Yeah, I've been, I've been happy with the main deck out of line of destruction. Okay, so if so if Ken just watches this later, if you're planning on blocking just a 2-1 with a 1-4 and you're not doing anything else with the other 1-4, it should also just be blocking the 2-1. So it should just be a double block. There it is. It is Woe Strider plus, plus the Angel. So that's infinite life. Woe, Woe Strider plus Divine Visitation is infinite life. Huh. Oh, well, with Bishop of Wings. So Woe Strider, Bishop of Wings, and Divine Visitation together is infinite life. So the only way that... You know, so, so technically this is infinite life. This is, and it, yeah, infinite scry, but I guess Candice really likes that card on top. You can have any card in your deck. So I guess that's the best, the absolute best card to have. So the only way for me to win this in paper, you know, like if we're playing a real game of magic in paper, the only way to win this would be to deck Candice, to mill him out, basically, because um, if, you're, if you're doing a combo like this in, in uh, paper, you know, basically, you can just say uh, what what you're allowed to do is you can just say, "All right, I'm going to do this this combo here 100 million times," and so you have 400 million life. And since since you can do that, you actually get to just pick up your deck and take a look through your whole deck because you would be able to scry one to the bottom every single time. You know, and 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 so basically, you can you just get to look at your deck and basically cut it to whatever whatever card you want. You're like, "All right, I want this card." followed by these because technically you'd be able to look at like each card individually and so to just speed that process up and you know you would be able to like you know even write it down if you want um anything you write down in a, in a paper match of magic though the opponent gets to see but basically you get to just what they do is they'd let you just pick up the deck basically cut it to wherever you want put that card on top and then you you know then that's you know obviously you don't get to shuffle your deck you don't get to re you don't get to rearrange the order of any of the cards of course um, except for just, like, scrying kind of thing. So, so yeah, so I'll be conceding here, because, yeah, like, the only way I would be able to win is to, to uh, mill out Kendis, but, like, that's not going to happen with me being a Frenzy deck. Like, I, like, for that to happen, I'd, I, like, I'm going to be drawing more cards than Kendis will be. So, like, well, now Kendis is bottoming, but, but we're going to be conceding, because, because really, technically, I wouldn't, there's just not a way for me to be able to win. There's, we're playing a challenge match. There's no timer. There's no, but still, you know, I'm going to be conceding there. Okay. So I need to uh, try not to get comboed like that. So I think I want casket, banishing light, intervention. And I don't want... Justice Strike does kill Woe Strider, but... Oh, right, 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 right. Best of one, best of one, best of one. Thank you, thank you. All right, put Justice Strike back in here. Uh, what's my other card? Best of one. Tajik, get that back in there. Okay, there we go. Best of one. Thank you. Does Hushbringer break that combo? Yes. Because then it wouldn't get the die trigger with um, normally this would be an okay hand I guess it's not it's not wonderful but it'd be okay Thanks for reminding me not to sideboard. All 
I wonder if Candace is like, what? Todd Cyborg and Hushbringer against me. And I was, no, I, I didn't. The Hushbringer was in the main. Uh oh. That's not a good sign for Kendis. Maybe the best of one deck doesn't have an answer to Hushbringer in the main. I could mulligan for Hushbringer, but no, I'm not going to do that. Eidolon of Obstruction. So I haven't seen any other cards yet besides the three card infinite combo. Like, are there like sweepers in here? Who knows? All right, there's Tyrant's Corn. So add 11, go down to 8. No, let's take one of the next two cards. Run out of cards. <laughs> yeah, I went to the grocery store the other day and, and looked for some Tyrant's Corn. They just had like sweet corn. Sad. I'm make the giant killer a 2 3 in case there's like a, I don't know, a main deck cry of the Carnarium for some reason. It won't get rid of everything. Combo meets main deck 4x hate card. That's a feel that's a feels bad. Yeah, we got to see the really cool combo there for a game. I I didn't you know like that was a combo that I wasn't even really aware of. So that was a cool that was a cool uh combo. Got to be got to see that one. GG's there, Kendis. All right, if you're a subscriber you want to play next, type the word battle into the chat. Yeah, GG's there, Candice. I started to sideboard, and then everybody in, in chat was like, no sideboard, best of one. I was like, oh, yeah. But I had, you know, like that deck just has the 4X Hushbringer main, which is sad. Um, yeah, the, the main deck Hushbringer, that was rough. That was rough. All right, giving everybody just a minute to get on in there. Yeah, if you had the two bishops out, then it's infinite life and infinite angels. Nice. All right, let's see who's up next. Ross, the biggest boss. All right, Ross, send me that gamer tag. Hey, Jarl. Let's let the wheel decide what deck I'm going to be playing.
yeah, just click click the sword here. Um, copy paste your gamer tag. What deck am I playing? I don't even know. A Yara's Citadel. That's like my mono black with gray merchant. And a Bola Citadel. So yeah, copy paste this, your gamer tag into chat. And there's my gamer tag for you to copy paste over here. And assuming you want standard, best of three, like regular standard. Then right, all you have to do whenever you click on that with these options, just change that third option to say best of three. Don't change anything else. So that's what your options should look like. Okay, mono black. Here's the mono black deck. This is what we played day one of Theros release. How many lands we got in here? 25. Okay. Here we go. Hello. Ooh, collecting pelts. No cat pelts, of course. Yes, yesterday was supposed to be the sub battle, but I had technical difficulties with my internet and it took up a good portion of my normal stream time and so so I just moved it to today. Alright, yeah, so just be ready to type battle after this match, Born Kite. No attacks. Annex is probably pretty sweet in uh, Gruel. Need those land drops. Tonic Giant's pretty awesome, too. Of course, if Ross has Ember Cleave, I'm very dead. game. Alright, grasp and eat. Bring in lots of removal. We'll cut Citadel. 
We're gonna need all these Legion's Ends. Oh, there's two already in the main. Three's probably good there. Alright, I am kind of lowering the curve. I kind of want to take out a land. Which is weird how we did just didn't have lands that game. But we're taking out the Citadels. And take out a land. Go down to one Midnight Reaper. Got it in the opener. I'm not mad at it. Midnight Reaper is going to do some work for me. That's a good hand. So holding up Murderous Rider for Questing Beast would be nice. But if I do that, then Ross could just play like the Spellbreaker instead. And Spellbreaker, you know, has Hexproof on their turn. Yeah, that was a sweet combo there, Candice. Ouch. That hurts. I'm glad I took out a land, because I really don't need any more. Need to draw more of the removal spells are boarded in. Just need to draw 12 more Cauldron Familiars. Almost got this. Should have boarded out four lands.
Okay. Team chat pick, picking up the victory there. GG's Ross. Got stumped. Very good hands. Good curve out there with the gruel deck. Good job, Ross. Okay. Team chat gets the win. All right. So let's see who is up next. If you are a subscriber and you want to play next, type the word battle into the chat, just like all those other people are doing right now. All right. <clears throat> All right, give you a little bit more time to get on in there. Oh, okay, you have some spice in there, but you didn't, you didn't, you just drew a regular cruel curve out, but yeah, you have Clothis and Torbrand and stuff like that, cool. Okay, let's see who we're, we're playing up next. QQ. All right, um, let's see. Oops, no, not the whole thing. I felt the wheel aside, there we go. All right, let's spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. Soul Thai food. All right, Cauldron Familiar is going to is going to uh, try to get the next one. So where's Soul Thai food? There it is. All right, so this is the Soul Thai food deck. It's also got you know your Rock and Thassa and Risen Reef. Got some cool flicker stuff in here. <laughs> hey, bloody pony. Yeah, battles are going good. Cool, yeah. Just sit on back and watch. All right, so I have... Of course, y'all are cheering for team chat today. Um, I got turn to Risen Reef. That sounds like something I want to do. All right, looks like another blue-white control. Wouldn't be surprised to see this be like a, a band deck. No QQ. Definitely wanted to hit the land there so that I could have played Thassa the next turn. gonna make a food with Gilded Goose so Gilded Goose can add mana next turn. So I kinda need more mana to play the stuff in hand. Your rock of course is pretty cool called and familiar making it double drain. So every turn you're draining two. Makes that go a lot faster. Oh, yeah, I could switch to Nickel Bolas for today for the Avatar. Yeah. 
And, you know, Thassa can flicker, Cauldron Familiar also. Get some more drain in there. Okay. This looks like an, an Azorius flicker deck. Yeah. Bunch of flickering back and forth here. Bataro! Thank you, Bataro. Thanks for resubbing for 11 months now. Bataro says, It's a pleasure to watch you play and provide high commentary. Explaining the play and why you choose one play over the other. Great 11 months. I've learned a lot of magic. That's awesome, Bataro. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Okay. Land. Your rock. This is going to be some drain here. Any thoughts on the best shell to play, Thassa, Agent Treachery? I've been happy with. Or, like, we played it with Azorius the one time, and I, I liked that. Okay, well, we'll just uh, get those drains in while we can. Yeah, that was going to be... We were going to do some crazy stuff with that Yurok and everything. You're rock letting the wicked wolf fight twice, and you know, and keep getting it back with Thassa to fight twice. Looks like Kiki is going to be scrying two instead of oh gain three life. Okay, I got maybe drawing with Fibblethip. Get rid of, get rid of this wall. Bring the wolf back. I'm gonna eat the fibble thip so they can't draw cards. And I can goose can add just another food. The wicked wolf can eat that food. You can't target fibble thip with a spell. But not abilities, you can target Fibblethip with abilities. So Charming Prince, Thassa, like those can flicker Fibblethip.
Man, yeah, if, if, if we would still have the Yurok in play right now, yeah, Thassa would be real ridiculous if we would still have Yurok in play. Unfortunately, we don't. No, uh, I, I think so. I think Charming Prince could flicker the Illyrios. That wouldn't come back till end step, and then I can't fight Illyrios. Make make more three twos. Um, that's what I'd want to do. Um, I guess, n I guess not. I'm not sure if Deckmaster has been updated with Theros cards, but I guess the answer is no. Kind of a crazy match. The Thassimir. Yeah, team chat did win win the day once. There was one time that team chat got me. It was like ten to seven or something like that. Oh, yeah, could have flickered the Banishing Light. Yeah, that would have been a good one to flicker. It needs to be scrying more. There we go. Yeah, Flicker of Fate can get rid of any... Can Flicker a creature or enchantment.
Hydrocrasis is not a good card to flicker. Question is, if you flicker an aura, does it enchant a creature or comes back into play? Yeah, yeah, and you can choose a different, you'd be able to choose a different creature to enchant with it. So yeah, you can use it as like a, as like a combat trick in that regard. Block the wolf makes a food. Chomp. Gonna be flickering the Gilded Goose to make more food. Fun rule stuff. You can always move a negative aura onto an opponent's hexproof creature that way, also. Okay, because you're not targeting, it just enters. Attached to something? Interesting. Yeah, Krasis will be a zero zero if I flicker it. Getting the Cauldron Familiar back into play. some fun stuff. I think that the QQ could have made a couple extra 3-2s and maybe drawn some extra cards with Fibblethip earlier. But that was some good quality magic right there. I don't like those banishing lights. I think I want Ashiok to try to get rid of banishing light. I 
take out Murderous Rider. And... Could be a Mask of Girl matchup. Could play Return to Nature, Voracious Hydra. I like what I got going on here, though. I got Thassa Agent of Treachery combo this time. Let's see if I can get to it. All right, Leafkin's Druid's good. Helps speed me up. All right, so I think I just want Thassa in play. But I guess if I play that, I guess I need to be worried about a counter spell. I guess. Cool, no counter spell. Whoops. Oops. Uh, of course, Heliod's Intervention destroys enchantments. Thassa is indestructible. Cannot be destroyed. I got some some update decks for tomorrow when cat like Grixis control. Um, I wanted to I wanted to scry for a land. See, I want to ramp towards Agent of Treachery. That went really well for me. This is basically my ideal hand here. any of my plays. I mean, obviously, Krasis for five is pretty good, but I don't really like Agent of Treachering anything. Glad I brought in the Ashiok to try to deal with this Banishing Light if we ever draw that card. Yes. Yes. Give me that.
Oh, QQ, tap the land. Why am I keeping that? I don't even know. I don't need that card at all. Discard a swamp. Uh, this deck's kind of janky. But yeah, it's not full on jank. Agent of Treachery is messed up. Yeah, uh, you drew three Thassas. Yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer also because you can't really do anything with all the Thassas. I don't like the Birth of Miletus too much in there. I don't know. It's kind of like it's too many. It's not enough stuff to blink. You know, like you're enchant you don't get to blink the enchantments. I don't know. Okay, if you uh, want to be the next person to play, you have to be a subscriber. Type the word battle into the chat. And we'll see who's going to be the next person to play. Um, if you if you are chosen and you do, don't want to play best of three standard, just let me know if you want to play best of one or historic or um, brawl, anything else. <laughs> when I see Agent of Treachery's stupid covered face, even if I'm not facing it, I get just a little bit more irritated. Yeah, I understand that. That was, that was kind of an unnecessary card to print, but... Hey, Horatio. It is so strong. Not, not a fun one to play against, either. All right, is everybody in there? Okay, let's, let's go. Who's up next? Starman. Okay, Starman, send me that gamer tag. There's mine. And let's spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. Don't have as many decks on the wheel with it being kind of a new format. Bant Flicker. So basically the, the deck that uh, QQ was just playing, um, but Bant. Okay, so make sure you have your chosen best of three. Uh, Bant Flicker, here we go. We get some Wicked Wolf, some Tulsimer, a lot of Flicker stuff, more Thassa. Thassa's just a fun card to play. I like Enter the Battle, creatures with Enter the Battlefield effects. Okay, here we go. Well, this is a really good, strong hand. Good mana. Exactly what I want. Scratchy.
and keep that temple. I think I'm fine with drawing a fifth land. I always really like that animation with sagas. Saga animation is pretty sweet. Narset. That's not good for me. Not good for me at all. Well, I'm going to resolve Thassa under the counter spell instead of Guard Mage. Guard Mage just being a 2-3 flyer that doesn't doesn't really do anything. Obviously, I don't need this land. Do I want Tulsimer to fight the 0-4? Those B2 creatures? Not really. That's not the worst idea. Team chat gets a win if I win with a donation deck. Keep an open mind. Wow. These are all pretty good. All right, so next turn. So I'm going to bounce the 0-4, of course, and then kill Narset. Um... I guess I need Knight of Autumn the least. Because I have another Thassa. So they could obviously have something else. Let's go this route here. Well, so like if I take Absorb first, I can't play anything with Absorb. Where I could like play Teferi, have Teferi bounce, and draw a card, and I could draw I could draw into the Absorb. Obviously we'd get to just draw the Shatter of the Sky anyway. Hey crazy support. So that's what I was thinking there. I would have rather played Elite Guard Mage and held up Absorb than Teferi hold up Absorb, but it's just the way that things are.
Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about where the game is at right now. That could change. Need one more card for Uro. God week. Don't worry, I got this. So I can attack and then flicker Knight of Autumn again and do four damage, but I'd rather draw a card than do four damage. Boo, Narset. Definitely need to attack that thing. Ouch. Ouch. Don't get to kill Narset now. You cannot see your folly. deal with this. Lots of options. Played against so much blue eye control the last couple days it was exhausting. Yeah, they they really gave blue eye control some really good tools in this set, like Shatter the Sky, Omen of the Sea. Like they really did. Let 
Alright, I kind of have a couple of creatures protected. They'll come back at end step to pressure these planeswalkers. This might be a bad idea. Must have got a, a gifted sub there, Luca. So I still get to play Shatter of the Sky at instant speed. Fairies messed up. Yay! Best possible card. Let's try this. That was the best possible card for us to draw. I only have two cards now. And I can't draw multiple cards a turn because of the Narset. Yeah, we're going to try to make them discard the hand. Ooh, that's a good one. Um... So I can upkeep, I can I can tap the Dream Trawler with the Thassa so they don't get to attack with it and attack Narset. Um, or I can hold up Absorb. Just tap it down. I don't get to hold up Absorb, but... I 
would have saved Flicker for their upkeep, they would have still discarded a card. Like, they would have been able to discard a card like it. Wasn't bad. Sure, I mean, I tap it with Asa and they couldn't attack. But why do I need to save the flicker? not like to flicker my Uro. <laughs> yeah, at that point, I didn't know that I was going to be like, you know, two turns in the future would have been able to cast Uro and everything. I like just getting the card out of their hand for sure at that point. Because then if I had something else I could have gotten rid of that. Okay, so I want Vetoes. Night of Autumn seemed pretty decent against Banishing Light. Questing Beast to go attack. I think Questing Beast was like my least favorite card in this deck if I remember right. Thassa did good work, but I don't know if we need all of the Thassas. Hmm. Wicked Wolf Tulsimer out. That's 64. I probably can trim some of these Charming Prince Fibblethip type cards. Maybe I don't need Omen of the Sea. Guard Mage is kind of expensive. I'm going to take out one Guard Mage, one Fibble Thip, one Omen, one Charming Prince. I don't know. Charming Prince is pretty cool. It gets Even with Narset in play, we still get to Charming Prince. I like that. Omen lets us draw on their turn, but we don't get to flicker Omen with Nasa. Play three Night of Autumn. One Omen. Yeah, Dream Meter's good. I like Dream Meter. Yeah. Okay, you've been disappointed with the Cavalier of Dawns? Okay. Cavalier of Dawn just gets to clean up everything. Like, whatever, whatever's a problem, Cavalier of Dawn can clean up. And remember, of course, you can always target your Thassas to make three threes. I like Flicker of Fate in the deck more than Teferi's Time Twist because I like how it comes back immediately, even though Teferi's Time Twist works with all permanents. I need to draw lands, not draw a Dream Eater. It's a good start. Yeah, 
Yeah, Portal's not as good as, as like, it doesn't get enchantments. Well. Yeah, so I, I like Flicker of Fate the most. This uh, I'm currently playing Bant Flicker. Yeah, the, the deck that I played a little bit ago, Soul Typhoon, that, yeah, that was a deck with Thassa and Cauldron Familiar. And, you know, your rock, so Cauldron Familiar comes in at, at two. I'm known for my excellent Mind GGs. I'll protect you. Time for plan B. As soon as Try to protect against that by holding up counter magic, but... You know, we're just about to have to move to discard. That was a good scry, too. I do not want either of those cards. With Teferi Time Raveler being in play on the other side. Trust me, I have a plan. Wow. lands. Like maybe I should just be holding up Absorb. I'm pretty sure one of the cards in my opponent's hand is um, Dovin's Veto. Glad they didn't tell down that. I 
guess I do need land. Hmm. Possible Starman just took out Banishing Light with because I have Knight of Autumns. So maybe I should take Knight of Autumn out for game three. I mean, I guess there's still Elspeth Conquers Deaths, though. White control is really good, isn't it? It really gave the deck just a ton of tools. I scribed that land to the bottom because it was a tap land. I was hoping to draw an untap land. But, I mean, maybe that's just too greedy. Well, I'm glad that, you know, got Dispute out of there, where just Mystical Dispute would counter all this stuff. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry, I got this. So I could flicker, man, this is just crazy. I could flicker the Fibble Thip, draw a card, and then I'm discarding. No, 26 probably isn't too much. I don't know how many lands are in this deck. I think it's like 24, I think, because of like the card draw and Charming Prince. But that has not seemed like nearly enough, obviously. I'll protect you. Don't make another move. making this up as I go. More counter spells. Yep.
I do have seven cards in hand, so maybe I start playing stuff at some point. That's more like it. land Boo. my prowess is unmatched by my peers <laughs> yeah, this already is a long game. <laughs> it's not. It could be a long game. It already is a long game. Here we go. So I did have more counter spells. If I age in a treachery. I basically I just didn't think it would get better for me if I waited because of like Narset. I think it thought it was just more likely that those two cards that maybe neither of them was a counter spell for Agent Treachery, you know, could have had like Dovin's Veto and stuff like that. Both scry two to the bottom. Hey, Escurio. We got Teferi out of here, finally. We can actually play spells now. I'm not going to counter Banishing Light. I can bounce that with Dream Eater. I can't let, like, you know, I gotta try to counter another Teferi. Or that. It's a fairy and Narset. Uh, um, rotating will be a good time.
So shocking and presumably to be able to be able to activate Castle Arden Veil. Vale. Cavalier Dawn's good. I... What happens if I bounce Elspeth Conqueror's death? It probably they probably still get the Teferi. So I can I can bounce like the banishing light on the charming prince and then and then have um And then yeah, then flicker the dream eater. I don't know, like they don't get to interact with it that turn, but then if they have like a sweeper after that, I'm putting both banishing lights back into their Let's hand. Then they just use a sweeper. You know, and they can do the instant speed sweeper anyway because of Teferi. Because, like, they're getting Teferi back. So it's not like I get everything at end step and then I'm safe. They, they could still tick up Teferi. I don't want them just to have... Another free banishing light. Hey, boo. All right, good night. For All right, see you later, foreign. That's not good night, but yeah, see you later. So we're at sixteen cards in library. Yeah, another great card that the set gave blue white dream trawler.
isn't a fight you can win. Uh, all right, well. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Try before. some more, I guess. I could play instant speed, I could bounce that, but obviously I can't. Hey, that was uncalled for. All right. If I get Questing Beast back, if I use Cavalier of Dawn to get Questing Beast back, then they get a 3-3, three, three, and that 3-3 three, three can chump block the Questing Beast. So that doesn't exactly help me. be a bad idea. I absolutely know what Cavalier of Dawn does. They're down to just... <clears throat> down to just 12 cards left. Okay, I like this stuff. Oh, I don't 
Hmm. These are a lot of good cards. Don't really want to I guess I could attack with the Cavalier of Dawns. I really want to minus Narsex. I kind of want some of these other cards. I could flicker agent, but I'm just taking like Castle Ardenvale vale at that point. Which maybe that's the the best plan. All right, looks like they're not going to be able to kill me in time before the mill out. Man, what a slog. Yeah, that, that might have been that might have been it for win conditions. I don't know. Left in the deck. GG's there, Starman. Man, that was. I don't know how long that, that match le went, but um, there's no timer in direct challenge. There's no timer. Um, okay, so that's... The, uh, we're going to end part one of the sub-battle stream here as far as clipping the videos for YouTube. Let's see what Starman said. Okay, you couldn't find your finishers fast enough there. Did you have, did you have any finishers left in your deck? Um, cause I think you only played one trawler, so soon you maybe had more trawlers, but, um, why was it going to get repeatedly tapped down? Oh, cause, it, oh, just by Thassa. Okay. Yeah. Right. With Thassa. Right. I had, um, I had, my hand was besides the Thassas, I had Teferi and I was drawing Knight of Autumn to destroy those enchantments to bring back Questing Beast and Charming Prince and I had a flicker of fate. So that was that's that was my plan. That's what I was gonna be doing. <clears throat> um but my next two cards were um 
Knight of Autumn and then the 2-3 that, that draws a card, that gains 3 life, draw a card. Those are my next two cards. That's why I didn't minus the Narset. Yeah, great game there. All right, um, so there we go. That's part one. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, click on over to part two. It's going to start in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching.